words who I've got Every word of worship with one accord Every praise, every praise is to our God Every praise is to our God Every word of worship with one accord Every praise, every praise is to our God Hi, I'm Betty T, and you're listening to Seasoned Lifestyle Entertainment Magazine. Not just another magazine, another lifestyle. And today we have with us gospel recording artist, Reverend Samar Bigham, who is the grandson of the gospel legend, Milton Bigham. How are you today, Samar? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm doing fine. Now, Great. Samar comes Samar comes from the lineage that um, carries an affluent history of gospel singers who have shared the heart of gospel through music for more than two decades. Now, I know um, Dr. Milton Bigham is your grandfather, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's right. Okay. okay, Samar, what do you say about yourself? Or what? Introduce yourself to the audience. Tell us something about uh, Samar Bigham. Who is he? Samar Bigham, who is he? Uh, that's a hard question. You never really think about that. Um, I am who God made me to be. Um, I'm a guy who had dreams, who had visions, aspirations. And um, I am also that guy who has seen God um, take a dream and turn it into a reality. I am um, a witness and a direct result of what can happen when you're faithful to where you've been assigned and um, when you're faithful to the God that you serve. Awesome. Awesome, Mark. Tell us something about some of your upcoming projects. What are you looking to um, in the future? What are you working uh, on? In the future? Uh, well, we're working on a, a full live project now. Um, so that's all in the works. We're writing songs, looking for songs, and all of that great stuff. Um, so we're going to do the live project, and then, of course, you know, missions in Africa and all overseas and all of that stuff. Um, so we're we're looking to be an impact to impact the world. Um, we don't want to just do the whole music thing and just sing at concerts and go home and do it all over again on the weekends. Um, but we want to make a difference into somebody's life. And um, if we have to do that through the means of music, then we'll take that avenue. Um, but we don't want to just give you a concert and then tell you to go home. But we want to, you know, give you something that can change your life for the rest of your life. That's awesome. And um, what I've noticed is that you do both. You actually preach your reverend as well as a recording artist, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. I have been preaching since the age of 13, and um, this, past, this past November 9th, um, I celebrated nine years in ministry. <laughs> awesome. That's yeah, awesome. That, that seemed like a long time to only be 22, but <laughs> yeah, it, it was, <laughs> it was wow. nine years. Um, about maybe three of those years, I, I really kind of knew what I was doing a little bit. <laughs> Very but, nice. but it's, it's been a great journey. <laughs> awesome. Now, if you had to, if we had to say you were to decide one or the other, which would you say that you like most? Would you say that you like preaching or singing or maybe equally? How do you feel about uh, it? Well, with me, one goes into the other. I've been around it all of my life, and um, I really can't put one in front of the other. They will both be equally um, rated, <laughs> if you will. Um, they're, they're both very, very dear to my heart, and I take them both very seriously. Um, of course, I've been preaching um, for nine years, as stated before, um, and I've only been doing the music scene nationally. Um, it's very, very new, just over a year. Um, so I'm still kind of getting comfortable with it. I'm thankful that the Lord has you know, given me a sound to release and um, to carry on the legacy of my granddad while he is still yet alive. That's, that's really important to me. Mm. Um, but the priest word, there's nothing like the priest word um, that gives you life. Um, 
that just ignites that fire and that passion um, within you. So, so they're both they're both very equal and very powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I um I like the fact that you said carrying on the legacy while your grandfather is yet alive. Uh, mm. I pastor meet my husband and myself, so I understand via my children, you know, the pressures mm. of a PK kid, <laughs> as mm -hmm. they say, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Um, and we as pastors enjoy seeing, you know, the seeds that we've planted yeah. in our yeah. youth bring up. Um, so yeah. I commend you on that. On the flip side, I ask you, how do you feel in terms of your grandfather being a, such a legacy inducted into the Hall, Gospel Hall of Fame? And I understand that um, he was one of the one. he initially kind of like saw Kirk Franklin coming up and, you know, mm -hmm. things of that sort. Do you feel that causes an added pressure or are you okay with that? Does, do you feel like, oh, it doesn't really matter, you know? Um, but elaborate, tell our audience a little bit about, you know, what it's like being a PK kid or... You feel like the pressures are on, you know. Right, uh, right. Like almost like a mandate um, to preach, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you gotta do it. <laughs> um, it's 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 a blessing. Um and sometimes, you know, the the enemy will allow uh will not allow but he will he will use people um, to try to turn what is meant to be a blessing um, into a curse. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, um, those, of us, those of us who are in Christ, we have an assurance um, that all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord. Um, so even when the enemy tries um, to use even people that are close to us to put pressure on us, and um, mm -hmm. make the thing that's a blessing um, turn, and we we look at it through a different lens. Even when that happens, um, we can rest assured that God's promise will prevail, and um, okay. His purpose will always come to pass, um, mm -hmm. no matter what we try to do or even what we try not to do. Um, mm -hmm. But for me, my story is a little different. Um, since okay. I've been born and could remember. Um, my own desires. I always had a burning and yearning desire to preach to God, preach God's word. I, I just always had it in me. Um, and even to sing and, and record, I always wanted to do it. It was in me. And um, I got a revelation not long ago that, you know, the things that we desire, some of the things that we desire, the Lord allows us to desire because it's what's meant to be in our lives. Right, right, <laughs> So he puts right. the desire in us so that we can pursue what it is that we need to pursue that he's already preordained. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't come to that revelation until a couple, about a year ago, um, but it blessed me so much. And um, I used to wonder why when I went to church, I would never sit in the back with my other friends, but I always went up to the front row. And I sat right up under my granddad's mouth. And wow. everything that he said, I absorbed. And I took it all in. And I sat, and I just thought about this, actually, <laughs> where I would sit. Um, it would be right in front of the pulpit where <laughs> my granddad would preach. But to my left, it would be right in front of the choir stand and right next to the musicians. <laughs> so I, I would I would get all of it at the same time, mm -hmm. and I think the Lord was just um, was just pouring into me. Now there right. was pressure, of course, there was pressure, um, especially once I got into ministry, because my granddad, being who he is, and we're thankful for the favor that's on our family's life. Um, but along with that, you have to uphold a certain level of a standard, and um, I, I don't ever want to let my granddad down. Um, because he's worked too hard, and I dare not come and um, tamper with what he has built by the grace of God. Um, so I will always make sure that I stay prayed up and I read the Word of God um, so that I can carry the mantle um, with strong hands and wow. and take it further and, and leave it. You know, I, I never wanted to carry the mantle and my hands be weak 
and I run the risk of dropping um, at the risk of my granddad because I I understood that he's the Moses in my life. (laughs) (laughs) That's very encouraging, especially um, to our youth, you know, so you don't have to be afraid of the pressures, you know, and it's interesting that you spoke about your very positioning, in other words, where you Mm -hmm. sat. That's Mm -hmm. really the epitome of ingesting and daily eating the bread of life. Yeah, yeah. God's word, you know, and how you said he was pouring into you with the choir there. I mean, those things were great influences, and we see an Mm -hmm. awesome product because of that. You know, so I thank you for sharing that with our youth. Um, If you had a favorite scripture to encourage someone, what would that scripture be? Ah, favorite scripture. I always find that to be so hard. Um, people are preacher, right? <laughs> yes, because it's just, you know, it, you get like 15,000 things that come in your head all at once. Um, right, right. Let's see, let's see. Favorite scripture to encourage someone. Um, therefore, being justified by faith. This is Romans 5. Um, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into his grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, will we glory in tribulation. <laughs> also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's a great one. That's a great one. That's a great one. <laughs> I love know. it. I love it. And that was only five, um, I think the first four verses. Uh, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, you were preaching. You said you're about 22. So what, you were preaching at 13? I was preaching at 13. 13. I did my trial sermon November 9th, 2003. And, wow. Um, my my first sermon was the power of prayer. I'll never forget it. Hmm. And um, <laughs> since that since that time, um, the Lord has grown me. And and I, I say just as Paul said, I am that I am by the grace of God. And um, that that is the truth. I'm grateful um, for where the Lord has brought me so far. And and I'm so excited. And I wait in anticipation of of the glory that shall yet be revealed. Because um, I know this isn't it, but there's a lot more here. So mm-hmm. I, I am that I am, <laughs> by the grace yes. of God. I'm not excellent. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I, I am because God is. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you are some more big ones, after all. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's it. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Now, um, finally, I know we're um, coming to the close of our interview. i like mm-hmm. to ask you, um, you spoke of several... Uh, projects that you have done. Can you name some of the things that, you, or some of the maybe singles or CDs that you considered amongst your favorite? You know, so if people are googling or trying to find you on YouTube, they'll be able to find you. Anything you found particularly interesting or exciting to work on doing your project? Um, well, the number one thing is uh, my new single, "Every Praise," um, which is out on iTunes and Amazon. Rhapsody oh. and all those digital outlets um, it just came out. It's hot off the press um, and it's doing really, really, really well. Um, so people can go out and purchase that from iTunes and all of those digital outlets. Um, but I'm really excited about it. It's a great song, um, great praise and worship tune, um, even for your praise and worship team or your choir um, mm-hmm. can sing it. So that's, that's the first thing that I'm excited about. And then there's also... Um, an EP that's available online as well, um, which is my first five-track um, CD that I did on my own, uh, which includes oh. the single Every Praise, and um, there are four other tracks. The sermon clip is on there. Um, there's a song called It's In Your Hands, um, and then the another song that I wrote called You Rain, which is both another another worship tune. So I'm really excited about that. And... Um, uh, there's so much. Of course, I get I got yeah. to work with my granddad and the Georgia Mass Choir, and um, I sang on 
not this record that is out now, but the record before that um, entitled Tell It. And I, I led a song called It's Not Over um, with them. So that was very, very, very exciting. Um, there are other churches who has recorded that I've uh, been afforded to produce their records and um, do different things. So it's great. It's great. Okay. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It would, if you Google me, you'll get to see everything. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> That's great. Georgia. I was born in Georgia, you know. <laughs> really? Yes. Moultrie. I know Very you never heard of that little tea time. I have. Yes, oh. I have. You heard of Moultrie? I don't believe it. I have wow. heard of Moultrie. We have <laughs> a singer so nice. in the Georgia Mass Choir that is from that city. <laughs> <laughs> Of all places, yeah. I, I would yeah. never thought, never guess, never guess. Now, when never she happened. said it, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was born in Moultrie. So, Great. Kelly, can you tell our audience, um, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, are you preaching out? Are you booking for appointments for preaching as well as, you know, um, performances? But can you tell our audience, how do you get in touch with you? If they look to book you or... Sure, sure, mm-hmm. sure. Um, I am available for bookings for both preaching and singing, um, both of those ministries. And you can get in contact with me uh, via email at asbbookings with an s at gmail dot com. I'll spell it out for you: asbbookings at gmail dot com. Um, or you can give us a call at 862-367-6484. And remember, from the ASB Ministries team, we'll be happy to assist you. Also, follow me on Facebook at Samar Bigham, or you can follow me on Twitter at Samar Bigham. Um, and those are all the ways you can get in touch with me. You can go to the website, www.asbministries.info. Go to iTunes and pick up the new single, Every Praise. Tell everybody that they need to have every praise um, in their their music library. So that's all of the means. That's all of the means you can get in touch with me. Okay, so look them up. That's A-S-B, B as in boy, correct? Yes, yes. A-S-B. Okay, so make sure you look up Samar Bingham. We thank you for your time. And we'll be following you on Twitter. All right, I'm going to follow you back. Okay, have a great night. Okay, you too. be blessed. Let's do the season talk radio. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's my way maker. He's my healer. Strong tower. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. By his name, we bless you because you've been good. We give you glory because you've been kind. How excellent is that name in all the earth? God, we give you glory. God, we give you honor. God, we give you praise. 